Willkommen! Hey Rabbits, it's Dixie and you all know that I am German. So it's no big surprise that I sometimes run into trouble pronouncing certain English words correctly. Words like hypothesis or deoxyribonucleic acid. I guess no one would blame me for saying them wrong. But to be honest, it's not only long and complicated words that sometimes make me struggle. When I film videos for my channel, it actually happens pretty often that I almost break my tongue off by trying to pronounce the easiest English words. Then I repeat the same sentence over and over again until finally, after minutes of failed attempts and growing frustration, I get it right. What I noticed over the time is that there are some specific English words that I always get stuck with, even though they don't seem to be so difficult to say at the first glance. But for some weird reason, they are a pain in the ass to me, every time I have to use them. So today I want to release some steam. I want to tell you which super easy English words I always struggle with trying to find the reasons for that. I am pretty convinced that at least part of the problem is related to German being my native language. So if you are German too, please let me know in the comments if you can say these words correctly or if they are indeed stupid asshole words that are difficult to pronounce for Germans in general. Maybe I am just a particularly stupid German. I really hope it's not only me. But let's find out exactly that right now. One last thing, actually a little surprise. I asked no one less than the amazing Dana from Wanted Adventure to be my American sidekick for today. And she said yes! So she will provide us with the correct pronunciation of the English words so that you can compare them to whatever it is that I say. After, you know, watching this video, you should definitely go and check out Dana's channel. Her content is very similar to mine. She's often comparing the German culture to the American. So if you like my videos, you're gonna love hers. But why don't you say hi yourself, Dana? Hey everyone, Dana here from the Wanted Adventure YouTube channel. Great to be back in a video with you again, Trixie. I'm super happy to help out in this video, but I just wanna say that I think accents are really, really beautiful. And Trixie, I love your English just as it sounds, but I also do totally understand wanting to improve yourself. So I'm very happy to help in any way that I can but I just wanted to say that I think accents in general sound really beautiful. And I think that they add to the richness of a language, not detract from it. Nicely said, and I totally agree. This video's purpose is not to make fun of accents. I also consider them beautiful and I'm actually pretty proud of my very own German accent. I just want to share my personal struggles with you, try to find out if other Germans have the same problems too, and of course motivate language learners from all over the world by showing them that it is okay and normal to fail sometimes. Here are super easy English words that I always mess up. However. However. However you say it, it sounds nice. The funny thing with however is that I either get it right in the first take or it takes me 20. It's just too soft, too round, nothing in your mouth touches while you say it. English, I'm German, let my tongue touch things. I kind of have to pretend that I have a ball in my mouth to remind myself that I cannot close my teeth. That's just very uncommon in German, so I sometimes catch myself saying how are, how are, how are. How are uh, you can actually say however by just shaking your face. How are how are how are how are was was I was in the grocery store yesterday. Oh my. I think from all English words, this one and I have the biggest beef ever. My biggest problem is that it looks like the German word was, but it's pronounced completely different. V is w, a is o, s is z, a soft S at the end of a word? How can that happen? That never happens in German. It highly confuses me. I always say was, 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 when it's actually like was. Exactly. Girl. Girl. She's such a nice girl. The English pronunciation of girl is somewhat ridiculous to me. A girl is a small and cute human being. But you have to say like girl. Girl. In German it's das Mädchen. That sounds sweet and innocent, not like girl. You have to go death metal on this word to get it right. You know this genre of music where the singing sounds more like vomiting? Girl. Girl. Volume. Volume. 
Turn down the volume! It's Sunday after all! This word is a tough challenge for people with a German accent. I'm always so tempted to say it in a very German way. Volume! That sounds so nice! Volume! But it's much rounder, the letters transition into each other, and it's just impossible for my German tongue to do that! Bad. Bad. Aw, don't feel bad, it's okay. Another thing that you barely find in German. Words ending in a D that is not pronounced as a T. If I switch to a German mode and try to pronounce bad, it would be bad. T -t -t -t. So not only do I have to remind myself that A ah becomes E, eh, which is why I sometimes accidentally say bad, the D needs to be taken care of as well. That's what she said. Again, simple three-letter word and I mess it up all the time. Three. Three. One, two, three. Yeah, you may have noticed it right now when I said three-letter word. I cannot say three. And that's not because I struggle with the TH in general. I can say this or mother or Bartholomew. Bartholomew? But if there is another consonant following the TH, I just want to cry. Three, through, thriller. Ah! I feel like my tongue has to be in two places at the same time to make this work. Can somebody please clone my tongue? I always end up saying Three, three, thriller, th <laughs> so super frustrating. Thing, exactly, another super beautiful TH word. Thing, no, 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 not that thing, that thing over there. Yeah, that thing, thank you. Saying thing is a bit easier, but I still have to focus a lot when I do so. And it is particularly annoying if the sentence contains other th words. I think that's another thrilling thing. 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 I think that's another thing. That's just a th overkill. And do you know why I hate the word thing even more? Because you are supposed to say thing when you don't know the correct word for something. It's a placeholder for words that you lack. And who lacks the most English words? Exactly! Foreigners! Oh, you cannot think of the correct word, but you still want to participate in the conversation. Well then, go ahead and embarrass yourself by trying to pronounce thing. Mu. Love and laugh. Love and laugh. I love to laugh. Ha 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 ha. The next thing I want to talk about is the difference between love and laugh. You heard right, we are dealing with two enemies at the same time right now. It's just so difficult for me to differentiate between these two. I never know if it's love or laugh or love. And then there is laugh. Just look at it. The spelling alone already tells you, f you foreigner. A U seriously? G H laug. But no, it is laugh. Somehow with an e. Eh. I don't know about you, but the word laugh makes me want to cry. But sure, sure. Well, sure, I guess so. Ugh, it's just impossible for me to say that. My German tongue tells me simply say sure. But no! English wants you to say that word as if you were to imitate the sound of a broken engine. Sure, 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 sure. You have to go full Donald Trump to get this one right. Sure, sure, sure. Idea. Idea. That's a good idea. This word simply confuses me. It sounds so German. Idea. Now you could argue that that should make it easier for me, but that's not the case. When I make my videos, I switch to English mode, and then this word appears and the whole system gets messed up. Head. Head. This is me balancing a book on my head. And again, the D fucks me up. <clears throat> it should be het, but instead it's head. 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 It happens all the time that I say it more like hat. All these amazing ideas for my videos, I get them all from my hat. All right, that must be like a magical hat then. Bowl. Bowl. The bowl is empty. Words like bowl make me miss the edges that the German language has. Some say it's aggressive, yes, I'm fine with that, but the English language is sometimes too soft for my liking. Bowl. That word sounds so wobbly, I don't know how else to say it. It's like the sound that jello makes when you poke it. Bowl. See? It comes out of your mouth like an unexpected burp. <coughs> bowl, excuse me. The German word for the same thing is Schüssel. 
just let that sink in. The fact that the following and last two words are also on my list bears some irony. German. German. I love the German language. Yes. I, as a German, cannot say German correctly. It happens very often that I end up saying it like German, again struggling with the softness of the English language. But actually, wouldn't it be fair if the word German were pronounced in a very German way? Let's add some broken coffee machine sounds! German! Accent. Accent. You have a lovely accent. Yep, I'm not able to say the word that this video is all about. My German accent. Accent is not like any of the other words we talked about. It's edgy, it's harsh, which confuses me so much. You have to say ax to pronounce it correctly. Ax. And if you say the complete word, accent, then it sounds a lot like etzend in German. Which, by the way, means awful and therefore perfectly describes the experience with all the words I just told you about. All right, rabbits, time for the truth. Do I simply suck at speaking English or did you have troubles as well trying to pronounce these seemingly easy English words? Do you have some tips for how Germans can practice to say them correctly? Which other English or German words do you often struggle with? <gasps> Let me know in the comments and please share your experiences. I really hope that you enjoyed today's video. If so, please leave a thumbs up because that would make Dana and me very, very happy. You can also follow me on Twitter, Instagram or Facebook or even support my channel on Patreon. I would appreciate that so, so much. If you want to watch another collaboration video with Dana and me, you can find one right here. Thanks again so, so much, Dana, for supporting me in today's video. Okay, that's all. I hope that it helped hearing these words coming from a native English speaker. I grew up in the US though, so of course I myself have a particular accent too. And it would sound different if someone from England or from Australia, for example, said these words as well. Auf Wiedersehen! Auf Wiedersehen, Dana, and auf Wiedersehen, rabbits. I wish you all a beautiful day and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye! Hello! Woohoo! I'm dizzy now! Uh, 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 uh. Hashtag goofy laughter. <laughs> Book! No, head! <laughs> the word is head. <laughs> Ow!